Joe here with the Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to demo the Uber Passenger app. And this is what the app will look like when you first open it. Your location will be that blue dot in the middle of the map there. You'll also see the drivers that are available, those little car icons. And the app shows the nearest eight drivers. So if you're a driver, you can look at the Passenger app and choose to reposition yourself so you're not so close to other drivers. And your frequent locations will show up here. So if you have a home or work address saved, you can just select one of those locations and request a ride. And in order to request a ride to another location, you'll select that Where To box. The top address listed will be your pickup address. It will automatically geolocate you where you currently are. But if you want to change that address, you can select that box. And that Where To box will be your destination address. And if you'd like to add a stop, you can actually select that plus button. You can add up to two stops plus your final destination. And as you can see, the Uber app asks that you limit the stops to three minutes or less. Drivers aren't paid much for waiting time, so if you're going to be a while, it's best to just end the trip and re-request when you're ready. So we'll enter a destination. We'll select that top one, the San Francisco International Airport. And here are the options that you'll have. In every market, you'll have the option of selecting an Uber X, which is the base Uber. And in some bigger markets like San Francisco, you can select Uber Pool, which is usually the cheapest option. And with Uber Pool, you actually share your ride with another passenger that's headed in a similar direction in order to get a reduced fare. And when you select a pool ride, you also have the short walk option. So if you walk a short distance, you can save a certain amount of money by walking to a specific location. And here you'll also have to enter how many seats you require whether it's just you or another person in your party. There's also the Uber Comfort option, and Comfort rides are newer cars with extra legroom. And some examples of vehicles are a 2016 Toyota Camry, a 2017 Ford Escape, and a 2014 Buick LaCrosse. And if you slide the economy section to the left, you'll now see the premium area. Here you can request an Uber Black or an Uber Select car. Uber Black are luxury rides with professional drivers. Some vehicle examples are the Tesla Model S and Model X, Audi A6 and A8s, and BMW 5 and 7 Series. And Uber Select are premium rides in high-end cars. And some select cars that you may see are an Audi A3, a BMW 3 Series, and a Hyundai Genesis. And if we slide over the premium section, you now have the extra seats options. There's Uber XL, which is the affordable extra seats option. And there's the black SUV option, which is the SUV version of Uber Black. Extra seat options are for bigger groups with up to six people. And we can slide over again, and you'll have more options. There's a taxi option, which are metered taxi cabs. There's also an assist option where you can get special assistance from certified drivers. And there's also the wheelchair access vehicles option, where if you have a wheelchair, you can select this option. All right, and now we'll demo a ride request. So we'll select that where to box again. Again, the top box is your pickup address, and that will geolocate you at your current location. But we're going to change that pickup location. And now we'll put in the destination address. All right, and we can see that the cost of this Uber X ride will be $7.68. Select Confirm Uber X, Confirm Pickup, double click to confirm payment. The app is now looking for drivers. And so now I've got a driver, the driver is three minutes away, and at the bottom there you can see some information about the driver. The name of the driver is Johans, you can see his picture there. You can also see that he's driving a gray Toyota Sienna and his license plate number. And confirming the license plate is the best way to make sure you're getting into the right Uber car. Alright, now if you select that bottom box, you get more options. So there's the driver information at the top there. And if you select that phone button, you have a couple options to call the driver. In the middle there, you can also add some pickup notes if you'd like. This is essentially sending your driver a text message via the Uber app. And this can be helpful if you're in a mall or a busy area where it may be hard for the driver to find you. There's also that light icon. This is good for nighttime pickups. If you select that, you can hold your phone up as your driver is approaching and he will see this color coordinated to you. You also have the option to add a stop or change your destination. You can also change your payment method if you'd like. And if you're riding with someone, you can choose to split the fare with them. And you can also share your trip status with one of your contacts if you'd like. This way they can track you in real time. 
You can also cancel the ride here if you'd like. And there's also the safety toolkit which gives you a few safety options. Alright, we'll go back to the map screen. Here you can track your driver in real time where they're located as they're approaching your pickup location. When the driver is getting close, you'll get a notification from the Uber app saying that your driver is arriving soon. And we can see that this driver sent a pickup note saying, I have arrived. Alright, now we're in the vehicle and the trip has started. And here are the in-ride options that you have. You can still add a stop or change your destination. You can also rate or tip your driver while a ride is in progress. And you still have the options to change your payment methods, split your fare, or share your trip status. Alright, we'll exit out of there and we can track our trip progress here on the map screen. Alright, so now we've been dropped off and this is what you'll see. You'll have the option to rate your driver and add a tip. And tipping isn't required, but 100% of tips go to drivers. So if you felt that they provided a great experience, a tip is always appreciated. And many passengers may not know, but drivers have to maintain a 4.6 star rating to stay active on the platform. So if you do rate your driver 4 stars or below, you're going to want to make sure that you have good reason. And that's the trip experience. Alright, so now we'll go over some other options that you have within the Passenger app. If you want to edit your account or change payment options, you'll select that top left clipboard icon. And there are a couple links at the top there. If you select that Get Food Delivery link, it will bring you to where you can go and download Uber Eats. And if you haven't signed up for Uber Eats yet, we'll have a link in the description so you can get some free credits for your first order. And if you select the Make Money Driving link, It'll bring you to a spot where you can actually sign up to drive for Uber. We also have a referral link in the description if you're interested in driving that will get you an earnings guarantee when you sign up with that link. Alright, now for your personal Uber account, you can select the Your Trips option. And that will show you your trip history. And there's also this payment link. And here is where you can add a payment method. And you can see that I've chosen Apple Pay as my default payment method. And in this area, you can also edit your ride profiles. And I only have a personal ride profile, but here's where you can add a business profile if you'd like. There's also a payment offers section where you can review some rewards options. There's also this section here where you can add a promo code. And there's also this help area here. So if you ever have an issue with the ride, you can go to this help area, you can select the ride, and you can contact Uber here if you've had any issues. There's a few options here. And in this help area, you can also see some standard topics. You can call support here if you'd like. And you can also view your support messages here. Alright, there's also the Uber Rewards area. You can join Uber Rewards, and the more rides you take, the more points you earn. And you can unlock certain benefits like flexible cancellations and price protection. There's also the Ride Pass area. And with Ride Pass, you can save on rides and get price protection. There's also the Send a Gift area. If you'd like to send an Uber gift card to a friend, you can do that here. There's also the Free Rides area. And here you can invite friends to use Uber. And once they sign up using your referral code, you can get credits to your Uber account for rides. There's also the settings area. Here you can edit your name, phone number, and email address. You can also add favorites, so your frequent locations like home or work. And here you can also add trusted contacts. These are contacts that you can share your location with when you're getting an Uber ride. There's also the family section, so if you have family members that you'd like to request an Uber ride for, you can add them here. There's also a rewards area. There's also a privacy section where you can manage the data that you're sharing with Uber. There's also a security area where you can set up two-step verification. And at the bottom there, you can also sign out of the app if you'd like. Also, on the home screen here, you see there's an Uber Eats link at the top right there. And you can now order using Uber Eats directly from the Uber Passenger app. And that's the Uber Passenger app. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and drive safe. Thanks.